Hello YouTubers, this is going to be one of my first videos and I think this is going to be pretty beneficial to a lot of guys that um, have machines that are constantly freezing cans or your evaporator gets iced up or whatever. This is to show you how to bypass the electronic um, relay controlled um, cold control systems. So I like to use these um, manual type cold controls because they're more efficient. I think they, uh, they work a lot better because relays always burn up and all that stuff. So what you want to do is start by finding the relay that controls the, um, well, you want to start with unplugging the machine first, but I located this relay here. This is the one that controls your refrigeration. That This is your signal wire from the board, those two, and the leads were on here, on these two poles. What happens when the machines get old, those relays start to burn up and they'll either stick on or they won't come on, which in this case, uh, he was freezing cans. As you can see, they're all expanded and stuff. We'll take those out here in a minute. But um, that's uh, basically, you wanna start by finding that relay. I created this extension wire. So, these two, when you touch these two, it turns on. So we'll just want to put a switch, an interrupter switch is basically what that is. So yeah, you just create some extension wires, run it there. And what I'll end up doing is mounting this here. I pre-drilled okay. holes right there. These things are available through Vendors Exchange. I like these the best because they're cheap and they work really good. Um, so what you wanna do with the other end of that, it comes attached with a bulb. I usually just shove it in there like that. Just push it into the evaporator. And what that does too, if that thing was to ice up, and it would uh, basically turn the whole machine off. You could lose a fan or something like that, so. Uh, yeah, that's how you do that. Um, I think I'll place that up a little higher. Top of the coils. Like that. So that's it. That's ready to fire up. Just in case you guys are wondering, that is the part number for that. VE557. So, if you like my video, I'll probably start making some more of this. I apologize quality of the video sucks but I only have my iPhone today and I'm a one man band so look for some more in the future y'all have a good day